Delighted to be joined by Ellie. The first question I'm going to ask you is, um, do you want to quickly talk about your amateur heading so far and, and what you've achieved in the amateurs? Yeah, well I've won a, a national title. Um, I've only had a few bouts in amateurs. I did uh, semi-pro before on a white collar. I did four of them and then um, went into amateurs just after Covid finished. Um, and only had four again out of that, so I've come straight out of it and, and won that national title. So. Yeah, I'll buzz in with it. What were your inspirations to get into boxing? Like you said, you were quite a late comer. Like you said, you, you were in some white collar fights. What were your inspirations to get into boxing? I don't know what. I've always been sporty and I've always wanted to, to give something a go. I've always bit and battered with, with different sports and not really clicked. But boxing, just, just I just took to it. Straight away? Yeah. Did you ever look at the likes of us Terry in the gym and stuff like that and take, take bits from their game and bring it into your, to your own game? Yeah, yeah, I take bits from everyone. It, it's good to to sit and watch, um, you know, like other people spar, especially in this gym, because there's there's loads and loads of talent coming in. Obviously, you've got Connor Kelso. I sit and watch him a lot when he's in. I don't see him much anymore, but when he was coming in day, I used to watch him a lot. Josh Clark, um, he's with the same trainer as me, Paul. And um, obviously Jason and Terry, yeah. really good. <laughs> you want to talk about you and Paul? Uh, yeah. Do you want to quickly talk about the uh, relationship you two have and, and why you think it's obviously why Paul's the right person to guide your career in some sort of ways? It's mint. Like like he said, we just click. We'd, we've just got this this bond that it, it really it glues really well. Um, we've just got that sort of banter. It's good. He, he knows when to push me. And um, he knows how far I can go and he believes in me, so that's, it's good, it's all I need in the trainer. To the person that wouldn't necessarily watch a box before, how would you kind of express your style to, to someone that's seen your box before? Um, well, I'm southpaw, quite long, quite rangy. Um, I can do quite a bit, to be fair. I like to counter punch a lot, but um, we've, got, we've been working with uh, Matt, my other trainer, uh, working on inside and stuff like that, so I feel like I've got a variety of, um, of stuff in my arsenal that I can, that I can bring out. And, Sure. Why do you think it's the, the right move to, to turn pro and not try and get more experience in the amateur settled? Um, I feel like I'm a quick learner, to be fair. Um, I pick, pick things up very quickly, so I'm, I'm just buzzing to get into pro game anyway. I don't want to sit and wait, I'm, I'm itching to go. So I feel like this is the best time now anyway. We're, we're just winning nationals and just jump straight into it. Two, three weeks, first professional fight, um, like I said. Um, is there any nerves, added pressure knowing that it's your professional debut, there's a lot of eyes on yourself? Um, are you feeling any pressure knowing that's only two, three weeks away? I wouldn't say there's any pressure, but um, I've definitely got nerves. I always have nerves, but it, it helps me. It makes me perform and it makes me the fighter that I am. So I use it and make it push me and fuel me. So yeah. Uh, announcement came out the other day that you've brought Jason. Well, Jason's, Jason's your brought new me. Manager. Uh, Jason Cunningham's your new manager. Uh, I'm going to quickly talk about. Um, that whole decision um, and now Jason being your manager? Well it was Bully that um, first initially brought it to us, he just dropped me a message one one evening and he said what time are you in gym? Um, I've got an idea, I had no fucking clue what he was going to come out with. I always get thinking about oh could be this, could be that and then I come in and he just said oh I want, I want um, Jason to take over and Jason to manage you and I thought it were a, it were a very good idea. I couldn't have been happier with it to be fair, not to not to this Bully because he's not up with Bully but like um, I really like Jason and I think he's a, he's a good manager and we've only been, what we've been at it like a week or so and yeah there's been massive massive movements made towards it so I'm very very excited. Like, like you said Jason's obviously been through the lowest of the lows in the sport and the highest of the highs. Um, do you reckon that in some ways more of an advantage for yourself knowing, knowing that Jason knows what it's like to be like you said the lowest of the low in the sport and achieve the highest of the highs, do you reckon that's more experience for yourself? Yeah, well, he's been there, done that, Annie. So it's it's all experience that he can, that he can, um, all information that he can give me about it. But yeah, it is what it is, and it helps that he's, that he's a fighter now. Um, and yeah, he can take me through it. Has he passed much knowledge so far to yourself? I mean, it's only been a week, but <laughs> yeah, he has. He's tried. Yeah, like when I've had sparring and stuff, he's um, he spoke to me the day before. He gave me a few tips and stuff. He's, he's been on about uh, my opponent now and who I'm fighting. Um, talked about that. So yeah, yeah, he's on it. Aspirations in the sport, I know, like you said, um, do you feel like you want to you achieve everything in the sport, you want to be a world champion? Yeah, of course, I think um, if you come in and you don't, then I think you're doing something wrong. Just for me anyway, I've always wanted to, you, you have to aim high, um, and I believe I'll get there. Yeah. Um, like you said, thank you for your time. Um, any more, anything else that you want to add before you, your debut? 
No. No, no worries. Thank you.